everyone okay so oh my god it's been such a long time since i recorded a video so i feel super awkward in front of the camera right now ah oh, so this is why people tell you practice makes perfect because if you stop practicing you get awkward <laughs> so i've always wanted to uh shoot a get ready with me video for something and you will know soon what I'm getting ready for but um, I usually oh my god I forgot to bring foundation this is usually my daily routine not my daily routine my once in a year annual routine so this is a concealer I have and they have all sorts of different colors that you can paint on your face I still haven't figured out where the green is used for and where the purple is used for these are for spots and the green offsets redness and I think the purple offsets blackness I've never done like a cosmetics video before so I don't know where I'm supposed to be staring at but first let me use this green one for my red spots the brush and I have a lot of red on my face maybe it's because i've not been eating well these days i have coffee every morning a lot of it you know i start off with like a tall coffee and i got addicted to it after a month so then i leveled up to a grande and now that has two shots in it and now i feel like even that's not enough so i feel like now i'm gonna go up to the venti with three shots or four and now i understand why people have so many cups of coffee a day because you start feeling anxious when you feel like the shots aren't doing enough to wake you up and keep you concentrated that's happening to me so beware you guys the addiction is stronger than drugs i would have known <laughs> i'll let you know once i've tried no i don't want to try drugs but anyways yeah the addiction is real okay so green for my redness how do how do i do this do i look in the camera and do this oh, i can't do this i feel like i have to paint my whole whoa god that looks green oh my god i'm gonna turn into shrek <laughs> look at all the green okay maybe you're not supposed to put it on all the reds so <laughs> oops i have a lot of red here i've been getting pimples so let's dab some on guys i feel like this is gonna be like my eggnog videos which is how not to put on makeup but um if this succeeds now you know that this is how you do stuff yes next the purple uh purple here can you see that oh is that why people do that so it focus oh look at it focusing so i got the purple here for my dark circles because i think it's supposed to offset your um darkness your heavy bags below your eyes i feel like it's clearing up my under my eye a bit no it doesn't i look so funky oh my gosh i look like a ibiza party went wrong <laughs> Here I got some shiny stuff like the glitter here uh, And then I'm gonna try to make some more highlights on my nose like that Wait, do I put a highlight on my chin? Maybe I've seen you beauty vloggers do this They put highlights on their t-zone like that and then <laughs> I look like those Justin Bieber music videos <laughs> Okay Voila So the base touch is done I forgot to hide my dots So you would get one of the like darker concealers here And then I'm gonna hide, the, hide my dots So wherever you see a dot you just like dab on the dot And then it disappears Give me two seconds so I can dab it on I'm gonna look beautiful said the little girl or not so little girl the actually very old woman who wants to be a little girl okay now what we need is so I know I need like a brush or a uh, uh, sponge to like blend it all well um, I couldn't find a sponge so I'm gonna use what nature gave me which are my fingers spirit fingers and then I got a CC cream here um, 
it works well. I, I feel always iffy recommending makeup products because you know for things that work well on your on my face it doesn't work on other people's faces and I've spent and wasted so much money on like what people have recommended and realized it doesn't really go with my face so I feel like it's always like a trial thing like a work fail kind of trial and you have to spend a thousand dollars on it to finally find one serum or one BB cream that really matches your face <sighs> That's why we work, right? To to see what makeup fits our face, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna put that on my face now. <laughs> now, you guys are gonna see the beauty and miracle of blending. It's all gonna blend well. I trust you. Who am I talking to? I trust you, Claudia. <laughs> Please blend. Hmm. I feel like it's not blending. I still got green everywhere. Now I'm just like rubbing everything on my face, hoping it would blend. Guys, can you see it like blending in, changing sort of? Maybe, I don't know. Now it just looks super shiny and oily because my face is like producing oil going, no chemicals, get out of my pores. In Korea, we used to call this eggs, like cute little eggs because I have like high cheekbones. So my mom used to call them like little egg drops. <laughs> Ta-da! How do I look? It concealed everything, right? I think so. Eyebrow pencil. I actually really like this. I bought it from Aritaun, uh, which is like a drugstore, drugstore, makeup store like Olive Young in Korea, Aritaun. And I got the more lighter color because my hair is a little bit lighter. Since I sort of tweezered my eyebrow to be shorter, all I do is try to make it a little bit longer at the end, the tail part But I just keep my curves because my muscle around my eyebrows has formed in a way where If I if I twitch my eyebrows up like this You can see that my muscle here has made sort of like a mountain of itself I wonder if I look like this when I was a baby What I like about this eyeliner is like it's very light so even if I make a mistake after a few strokes, it doesn't really show. I remember way back when I was putting on makeup for work, sometimes you do want to put on makeup to like feel a different you, but of course I want to put on makeup when I feel like it. But yes, I've been to those workplaces where they required me to put on makeup, hint, hint, wink, wink at me. And, but that, that was a good experience in that I got to practice doing makeup every day and also realize the influence a toxic work environment can have on you and your self-esteem so I got out of there so here's my eyebrows and it's done! did I make it too dark? okay and one thing I do is because my hair color is really light right now sort of but it is growing out at the roots but um, one thing I do is I have this color my brows thing and then that makes here from Etude House and I actually really like it and I like how it colors my brows really quickly so I got a really like light color one oops light color one you can see there so all I do is just brush it a little bit and it sort of changes the color to my hair color and it's always better to have lighter brows than your hair color so one shade lighter than your hair and it looks much more natural than to have your eyebrows one shade darker than your hair what i like about these brow mascaras is i don't have that much like hair on my eyebrows so it sort of um gives more hair looking kind of look to my eyebrows Ta-da! can you see the difference i actually can't see the difference in the camera but ta-da! so eyebrows done i got this Maybelline New Oops New City Oops No, it doesn't focus. Okay, anyway, so I got this palette. I just thought it was very pretty, so let's just try it. I'm going to put the lighter color on my eyes like that. Just with my fingers because I'm that lazy. 
And sometimes I feel like fingers are the best thing more than your brushes because it really can feel the curves of your eyebrows. I've used that lighter shade for the base and then I'm just gonna go in a row like that to make it very strong looking. So let's do this. Look how brown that is. I am so scared you guys. Ah! Okay brown, here we go. Oh my god, it's super brown. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, I look like I'm going to a one of those Neanderthal parties with all the cavemen. Can you guys see it? It's super brown though. Oh no. I just look like I hope it doesn't look like someone punched me. I'm gonna use a little bit more of the shiny one here. And it looks like that. So I'm gonna try that on my eyes. Yes, very shiny. OMG. I hope this suits my eyes. What I do is I always sort of like dab this part so then it like blends in well at the end here. Okay, what do I look like? Do I look like... I look like a five-year-old putting mom's makeup on. I'm moving on from my fingers to a brush, you guys, because I feel like the width of my finger is too thick to cover, to do like very sensitive jobs at the bottom here. So I'm just trying to brush away the color a little bit because I look like I'm the Neanderthal princess of the cave age. Uh, I think I'll make a very nice cave princess. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna make a like a dark line, sort of like along my eyelid to make a eyeliner kind of effect and give my eye some depth. Don't forget to do a little bit of the bottom here to give it more depth. I think the more depth I'm giving it, the better it is becoming, I think. You know, sometimes it's really funny. Um, I see a lot of people do this where they do their eyes and they're concentrating so much they're like... With their mouth. And we don't know that we're doing it. It's like so unconscious. But I think we do that when we're concentrating because your muscle has to concentrate. So here, they can't concentrate on the mouth anymore. So they sort of have to let the mouth go. So sometimes I feel like everyone looks a little bit cute and stupid at the same time because they're like, oh. <laughs> I think I put too much black on this under eye. So I'm getting that Cleopatra got punched in the face kind of look now. I'm gonna put eyeliner on. I only have a brown one from, this is also from Et Dude House. I'm not really advertising Et Dude, but one day I went to Et Dude because they were on sale and I just did my whole makeup shopping there because they were on sale and I just couldn't be bothered going to other places. But here I got a Et Dude House drawing show brush liner. And I really like it actually because uh, it really draws really thinly and I get a lot of control on it because the brush is a bit firmer. Don't, I'm not gonna make too much of a wing. Maybe I should, but see how it's so defined right now? Ta-da! I really like eyeliners because even if you put a lot of, a lot of eyeshadow on your eye, I feel like at the end of the day, what defines your eyes is the eyeliner part. So, um... Ta-da! Now I look like a more sexier version of Cleopatra. <laughs> okay, this part too. The thing is, I have a screen on top of my camera, so I end up talking to that screen instead of the lens, so it sometimes looks like I'm not looking at you guys. Sorry about that YouTube newbie mistake. Although I can't say, I, can't, I don't know if I should call myself a newbie because I've been on YouTube like for some time now. Although I've been like on and, on and off, but... Uh. <laughs> it's to do with the procrastination and humanly depression. Does that make sense? It's like being human is so hard, you guys. Especially if you keep aging. Being a normal human being becomes harder and harder. <laughs> like you become more broken and broken over time. Thus, I need my vacation in Bali so I can pick my broken pieces up and become 
attempt at becoming whole again. Ooh, those are nice lyrics for another song. If you want to make your eyes look even bigger, like you put the liner a little bit in the front, extend it a little bit, and you will get really wide eyes here too. Like on the front part here, you will draw a little bit and extend it a little bit. And it's nice to do it with like a brown color so it looks more like a shade okay does it look bigger in the front now so final thing what I've always seen beauty vloggers do is um, they would get a very light shiny thing and put it sort of on top create some highlight on top of your eye on top of the ball the middle ball of your eyes here And also you would get a little bit of that again the shiny part and then do a little here give it like a shine here I hate this because I don't know how to use it properly I always end up plucking out a lot of my eyelashes I've watched so many YouTube videos on how to use this I still don't get it yeah like that and then you just like lift it up and you go beep, beep. And it's supposed to climb up one problem. I've been having with it when I do it It just bends like that like it does it, it's supposed to be a nice swirl like that So um, my non-existent eyelashes are now Sort of up. I'm still just gonna put on mascara This has been sitting in my shelf for a year now. I hope I don't get some kind of eye infection Up you go. I've been really liking this Mac gingerly I really like it. It's like a brownish orange kind of color. Um, it's great for Asians because it's a warm tone and a lot of Asians have like a yellow kind of under undertone. So I tend to have a lot of makeup that's geared towards warm tones. So like orangish, 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 orangish base. Again with the blush, apparently there are a lot of different shapes you can do with it depending on your face shape. I don't really know so all I do is I sort of smile like this and then just like place it sort of on top of where my cheekbones are sort of here I think am I even doing it correctly but I sort of like diagonally go across here because I just saw youtubers doing it <laughs> recently I bought a uh, I bought a lipstick just because <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to spend money again. Mom, if you're watching this, I am living a very frugal life. Um, it's not like I'm buying makeup every day. Just don't watch this video. <laughs> so my first MAC lipstick, and I've heard that this color shade really matches Asian faces. So I've always wanted a really red, red lipstick. So it's called Russian Red. You would see on a runway or you see like... Uh, models have so it's like that kind of default red color you will see with mac lipsticks though what i've realized is they're very dry so either you have a very very moist lips to begin with or you need to put a lip balm on and then remove it a little bit later and when it's smooth and plump then put the lipsticks on if you already have like chapped lips it tends to emphasize your chapped lips the thing is, if you don't apply red lips on perfectly and you end up smudging it, it looks like you just came out of a spaghetti restaurant. Ta-da! Full lips. Oh my god, I've always wanted to do this! Let me swatch it for you. Oh my god, I've always wanted to do this, you guys. It's so pretty! And I know it looks very tomato-y because my room right now has very yellow lights. But this this is the sort of red you would see. Like that. Oh yeah, it's it's that red. Oh, I really like this red lipstick. And I want to wear it more often, but seriously, I don't know where I wear it. Because if I wear it to work, someone will be like, where are you going, Claudia? <laughs> At 6 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Or actually, Claudia, did you not sleep and are you coming from somewhere? So I love this. I don't know where I wear it. So I think I'll just wear it at home. <laughs> or every time I'm making a video. So now you will see this red a lot <laughs> with me in front of the video, you guys. So this is another shade that I bought from MAC. 
um, and at the airport it was so much cheaper than what you would get in Korea just in general to get like foreign brands in Korea it's a little bit more expensive at department stores just because there are import taxes so a lot of people buy stuff from duty-free stores when they go out or come back um, actually apparently recently in Korea in Korean airports now when you land there's gonna be duty-free stores there too so I bought this and it's called my Tweedy and it's this beautiful nudie color isn't it so pretty you guys let me just swatch it for you it's so beautiful uh, but the thing is it's very nudie so sometimes with like an Asian comp with like a yellow undertone this can look very too light so it looks like you're a bit sick so a lot of Korean vloggers they use this with they mix up the color with this with like red or something in sort of like inside your lips so it's more of like a gray oh my god I can't speak to you. they put this on the outside and put the red on the inside so it looks like this beautiful gradation I have tried applying just this one and it does look a little bit light but when you have very strong smoky eyes I really like that look like strong eyes uh, like point makeup right but then you have like th these nudie lips isn't it such a pretty color it's like a warm orange kind of peachy tone uh, it looks a little bit more lighter than what the camera is showing right now But it's so beautiful. It's a bit powdery than the red one. It's shinier And then this one is a little bit more powdery. You can also see the difference in the containers The container for the Russian red is shiny and then this one is a little bit more powdery and matte. That's the end of my makeup tutorial. It wasn't really a tutorial It was more like get ready with me for Wait for it. My next video. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so stupid. I'll see you guys in my next video. And now you can understand what this whole commotion was about. So, see you then. Bye! If you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, please leave me down any comments down below. Leave me down, leave me any comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>